Today is landing day for the Perseverance rover to Mars, and we haven't landed a rover on Mars since 2012 when the Curiosity rover landed. This mission is really exciting. It'll be landing in a new part of Mars in a very exciting landing site called Jezero Crater. And this mission is the first in a series of missions that will be working towards Mars sample return. So the Perseverance rover is gonna drive around on Mars and collect samples, which will be the first ones that will be returned to Earth for study in our labs here. I'm an assistant professor at Rice University and I was pulled onto the Mars 2020 mission as a participating scientist with a team of a few others here from Rice. And we will be working with the Perseverance mission team to help understand the geologic context and the samples that can be returned to Earth in the future. I can't even like... I know, you're like standing up. I watched the curiosity one of this so many times, but it still always makes me nervous. And that one I know landed. <laughs> Today is a really exciting day. Um, I am I am thrilled and nervous and anxious and jumpy and so excited. <laughs> It's, it's got it, it's got it. Uh, landing is, it's, a, it's kind of that critical juncture between, you know, about a decade of planning and talking about Mars sample return and talking about taking those first steps and a couple years of selecting the landing site. Uh, and, and if today goes well, it starts off another decade of exploration and then decades of learning from those samples. <laughs> We have a mission. <laughs> I started working with Kirsten Seabach, Dr. Kirsten Seabach, my junior year, and I'm studying the Stimson formation. So that's what I've been doing for the past two years. And because of that, I became really fascinated with Martian samples and just kind of like the formation of Mars and its history. So because of that, I went into a NASA internship working on the Mars sample return. And that's what kind of jump started me into my passion of like wanting to continue with Perseverance and its missions. I think there's there's an image coming down. So 2031, they should be back on Earth, fingers crossed. Um, but they should be here and I should hopefully be fully trained, ready to work with them. This is a really exciting day for us um, across NASA, across RICE, and uh, really around the world. This is the first step and we will be collecting new samples that will hopefully come back to Earth. It's our, our first opportunity to have samples on Earth from Mars and so um, this is a really big day and really happy news. Oh. <laughs>